So before we start with the weaving, uh, with the weaving part, this part of the decorative decorative art, um, let me just show you first the question of section Shanghai. Okay, so Shanghai, this is your question. If given a chance to be the president, what changes or improvements would you like to impose or would you like to make? on how art must be appreciated in our country, okay? So answer this question, and you have to answer this um, on the YouTube comment, okay? Do not forget my, uh, do not forget, uh, my instruction about how, how are you going to answer it, okay? So you have to state your name first, then your section, then the answer for the question, and do not, um, what do you call this, do not, state at all the question just answer all right so i hope you got that so we're going to move on with the weaving part now we are going to discuss about weaving weaving refers to the craft of interlinking fibers or thread to produce a cloth philippine textiles are usually made of cotton piña and abaca so weaving it produces textile all right so let's see kung anong mga process of weaving, okay, or types of weaving in the country that we could find. We could find first is ikat, okay? In the ikrat ha, in the ikrat kundi ikat. All right? Ikat is a dyeing technique. Magamit a dyeing technique. It's not uh, mapatay ka ha. It's dyeing, it's it has an e, okay? When we talk about dyeing, it has um something to do with um um coloring that the, the fiber first okay so ginakoloran anay bago siya tahion all right so a dyeing technique used by the tribal groups of Mindanao such as the Bagobo, Tiboli, Mandaya, etc. it is done by resist dyeing sections of yarn before the weaving pro, uh, weaving process so do gina ano siya anay gina gina ginahatag siya anay or do gina undergo siya anay so resist dyeing session Okay, before uh, tahion. Okay, uh, wait, wait, try to search. Resist dying technique. Okay, I had a wrong spelling. Ang ba ko mo? <laughs> Alright, so this is a resist dying technique. Resist dying technique is a traditional method of dyeing textile with patterns. Methods are used to resist or prevent the, di the dye from reaching all the cloth. Therefore, creating a pattern in ground. So, mga ba kita dying, uh, gina-resist ya class? Ay, hindi, uh, for example, di ba, kay sometimes, sa gamba kita nga dying, do tanan, gina ta, okay? Or do gina ta. Pero ang dying with the resistic dying technique, ginagamit sa class nga para hindi tanan, for example, may color violet ka lang. So, hindi tanan nga parts ang textile or tela, makuluran sang violet. Okay? So, may mga particular... Um, parts lang na makoloran sa sang violet. Alright? So, kung combination of colors, dapat may mga parts pa sa sang makoloran. So, that is resist dyeing technique. Alright? So, next. Aside from textile weaving, Filipinos are also known for their creative woven baskets and mats. Some of the notable examples are the decorated bags of the Bagobos, the, black, the backpacks of the Mandaya tribe, the basag of the tagbanwas in Palawan, the mats of Basay Samar, and the seed sesed mats of the Maranao. So, just try to look at this class. Our culture is very rich when it comes to the different um, decorative arts. Alright? So, may mga textile weaving, may mga basket weaving and mats. Alright? So, this one is an example. A classic bag of the Bagobos. So, this one. Adorned with beads for added beauty. The woven weavers of the Mandaya tribe. Basag, ah, uh, here, amunin sila. The basag of the Tagbanwas in Palawan. So this one is an example. A typical mat from Base Samar, embroidered with designs one can see in nature. Sesid mat of the Maranao with its classic stripes and plaid patterns. So as you can see, it has a pattern. So wala nang sa nagpinataka ang ubra. Okay, so... Just imagine, hamba balak nila class, magtahi kuno sa mga amuni class, ng mga textile balaklas. 
mga hablon, for example, it's very hard. Why? Because just try to imagine trying to connect ang mga different fibers na gagmay-gagmay and trying to make a pattern. Alright? Kung, kung gamay na nakasala, mas malain ang pattern or malain ang shape na gusto mo, ubrahon, so maliwat ka naman all over again. Right? So basta hindi mo naman puso lang itong ginpantahi-tahi mo. Right? Ang interlinking, interlinkages ni mo sa mga fiber. So hindi mo na mabalik. So, i-appreciate natin class ang atong mga artists, especially with our own culture, because our, our, of our own art, as much as possible, tani, ginaano ta natin, gina, ginabakal natin, gina, amun na atong ginagamit, alright? Amun na atong na ginayuse, alright? Kaya para maano siya, ma, makahatag, ni, makahatag income sa mga artists, and of course, ang magamit man natin kung ma-promote natin. Okay? So, suporta lokal. Kaya mo na for me ang Department of Tourism. Details from a tabby or two-panel ikatsub skirt featuring a crocodile pattern. So, just try to look at it. It's so intricate, right? Next, metal work. So, medyo lawig para kita class. Oh my gosh. Okay? So, next, metal work. Metal work is the art of manipulating metals to come up with new products such as weapons, jewelry. Okay, there's no word as jewelry. Class, ha? It's jewelry. Nagsala lang ne. Utensils and etc. Archaeological findings proclaims that Filipinos are experts when it comes to metal works. Okay, so even before, um, even way back before, sa mga kanunununu anaton. Aton di class nga, nga culture or aton nga skill ba na? Okay? It has been proven already by, by archaeolo archaeological evidence na nagambal sila nga aton kuno yung nga mga metal works are very profound or very expert na gin ang level or na may gin ang pagkaubra. So several collections of jewelry and ornaments were discovered and became testimonies of how talented our ancestors were. The most astonishing of the find of the findings, okay, so medyo wrong grammar siya, is the pre-colonial jewelry collection that is composed of stunning jewelry. So there's no word as jewelry. Class, it's just jewelry. Medyo gasala lang din. Gold woven sashes and belts. Some of the country's notable metal works, amo ni siya, gador or brass urns of the Maranao. So din hindi ginabutan ko. As you can see, it's very intricate na minami siya, class, no? Okay? So, doon mo na siya, class, ang ginaubra nga, ginabutan ang abos ang patay, and whatsoever. Then, the tiny bell of the bagobos. Okay? So, it, it, is, it has a bell inside. Brain snack. The Maranaos are the country's leading manufacturer of brass wares. So, you have to take note of that. The tribe Maranaos, they are the leading, or the, sila, kumbaga silang pinakadamong mag-produce ang brass wares in the Philippines. Okay? So, we are now at the tapos na, na class ang fine arts, alright? Tapos na, na ang fine arts and decorative arts. Now, let's go to another type of visual arts. Magamba kita visual arts class, ang mutuang magadil sa senses or sa sight. Okay? Now, sa ikatatlo na kita, in this, we are going to uh, to um, discuss about contemporary art forms. Alright? So, hindi na siya class ang mga contemporary art, ha? Um, nga, ang ato niya subject is contemporary art, so though general term siya, ang contemporary art forms is though type niya, okay? Though iya branch, alright? Branch sa visual arts, alright? So when we talk about contemporary art forms, we refer to artworks that cannot be easily classified following the tradition descriptions. So hindi mo siya class ma ma-classify kung fine arts siya or or um decorative art siya, alright? So, hindi mo siya dalit-dalit ma-distinguish between the two. It could be um, a combination of both. So, that's why it's called contemporary art forms or mga art forms na na-produce in the contemporary times, alright? So, most of them are products of the advancement in technology and cannot be classified using the outdated descriptions, using the outdated nga mga nga mga painting, uh, traditional definitions ang painting, sculpture, and whatsoever. The first one get is collage. Alright? So the collage, what is collage? It's the term, the term was coined by artist George Braque and Pablo Picasso. It originated in a French word, color, 
which means to glue. So even though classic si Brack and si Picasso, they existed even before the contemporary times, pero ilabra class ang ang way of doing the collage is applicable even until today. Okay? So mas do mas naging na develop pag isa bala, nagsikat pag isa bala class in today's times. Alright? So, magamagita color, it means to glue, okay, o papiliton mo. Collage refers to the process of mixing print medias with other flat objects and pasting it on a flat surface. So, may mga ano ka class, may mga uh, print medias ka, or may mga mix ka mga papel, may for example, then you carry it out, then you try to glue it on a canvas, or in a flat surface, alright? Example of it is the Battle of Vio Mark, Glass Guitar, and Newspaper by Pablo Picasso. So, gin try niya lang i-combine, combine in a flat surface using a glue, gin pilit-pilit niya. Then, that's collage. Woman with Guitar by George Sbrock. Okay? So, muna. Some of our country's renowned collage artists, so, makato naman ta sa ato nga own ng mga collage artists. Example si Dina Gadia. Kilala niyo si Dina Gadia class. So, basi wala ka mo idea, i-search niyo lang. Okay? A native of Anda, Pangasinan. Comes up with her beautiful... Is her, ang Anda, wala class. Bala, anong Anda in gay language? Anda is do kwarta. Okay? So, labay-labay lang. No, trivial lang. Okay? Comes up with her beautiful collages by collecting various materials, then choosing parts of it that she wants to highlight in her work. So, let's try and search by Dina Gadia. Let's try and search, search Dina Gadia. Lang taong tayo ang mga works kung ano tura. Okay, so let's try to um, search ang collage niya. Okay? So, class, this, this one is an example, ah. Uh, Alright. So, ang bal niya. So, ara siya. Makita niyo man na siya. Ay, wala. Alright. So, ara siya. Pakita. Then, this one is an example, pagid. Alright. So, kung i-zoom niyo na, okay. I hope makita niyo siya. Ano din definition kay Dina Gadia? Ara, oh. Comes up with her beautiful collages by collecting various materials and choosing parts of it that she wants to highlight in her work. Right, so gin highlight na di class. Do gin napakita yung balak class ang the different types ng mga express mong isa ka bagay or ang isa ka action or isa ka subject. Okay, so gin pakita yari flower sa isa ka bata then yari plane lang then yari do mga geometric shapes naman then yari do drawing lang. So the combination of it class ang iya do combination of different topics or combination balak class ang pag ang process sang pag develop sa isa ka kabutang or creation. Okay or isa ka bagay, so muna gusto niya ipakita sa iyang obra, si Dina Gadia. Alright? Next, si Jonathan Benitez is a native of Iligan City, Mindanao, residing in Palawan. He integrates collages as a discourse on entrepreneurial goals of advertising and environmental mindfulness. So si Jonathan Benitez, class, ginagamit niya kasi iyang mga collage para mag-express ang mga issues, especially with the environment. Alright, so let's try to see abe ang mga work ni Jonathan Pinita. So I'll just copy the name, then I'll paste it sa Google. Then we we can have the collage niya maging ubla. Example of it like this one, right? So makita niyo class mga collage niya may butterfly. Alright, so may mga something it 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 has a touch of environment or nature, like this one. Okay, so may mga environmental issue da. So, you just try to interpret dira on your own because we cannot impose interpretation na dapat kung ano ako interpretation, ang mumanay mo interpretation, no. Okay? Sometimes, we have our unique interpretations of things. Alright? So, kung pasi anong applicable sa'yo, yan mo nang pagtulog mo, then so be it. There's no problem with it. Okay? It might be correct. It depends upon the interpretation of the artist man. Okay? So, sa iya, gimahali ng original nga answer. Next. Assemblage. So, magamba kita assemblage. Class, ang collage ka ka sa, this is your another performance task, one of your performance tasks. So, I hope you will do it. Okay? Um, itay ko research sa YouTube kung paano mag-ubras ang collage lang. Ando simple lang. Para mapakita ko lang sa inyo kung anong collage. Alright? So, collage. Collage. Uh, making. Alright? So, collage art, for example. Alright, so let's 
Sorry, a class is type of uh, do abstract collage siya. Alright, so just I'm putting them together to create a unified one, piece of art. The reason I love collage is that there are no rules, and in fact, breaking right? the rules is what makes it interesting to look at. I see it as the design equivalent of sampling in music. It's taken something around the 10th century and gained more popularity. Say for a while, the lang work. Precise in the way that you cut things out. You can, of course, use scissors if you're a scissor enthusiast. Than using something like a magic wand tool or some kind of effect to get rid of the background. How about kung do material gid? Alright, so Arisha. So I hope you're learning something, huh? I hope you're learning something. Alright, there. It has a print material, right? Can you see? It has a print material. Just look at it. Then we have pasting lang. Because collage can is all about pasting lang on a flat surface, right? So this is contemporary collage artwork. All right. Okay. Next, we'll go to assemblage because, as what we said, assemblage will be your another performance task. All right. So let's discuss. Assemblage is a term coined by Jean de Dubuffet in the 1950s. It refers to artworks that were created by assembling pieces of recycled material such as wood scraps, paper collages, etc. to create a unified whole. Alright? So the difference between an assemblage and a collage is that assemblages are three-dimensional artworks while collages uses two-dimensional mediums. So magambag, ang difference, they're just the same class nga gina gina combine nila gina pilit pilit nila class kung ano ano man dati nang lanilang ipilit ng mga material pero the difference between the two is that ang collage sa class two dimensional lang you just place it on a flat surface while ang assemblage it must be um a three dimensional ina pala class ang dumay ga ulbugid para makita mo iya nga sides all right so makita mo iya width iya height iya depth all right so amo na class ang ginambat nga assemblage all right the um Example na, okay? So, I'm gonna show to you ang assemblage art, okay? So, ginapilit, ito mo na mga found mo nga mga materials class, ang mga found mo, mga makita-kita mo lang ang mga materials, pwede mo na sa class maubra ang assemblage. For example, akong cellphone, ang husay, ang notebook, i-combine ko sa class to make an object or to make an art, or to make an artwork. Okay, pero hindi man ninyo pagamitin ang itong mga magamit. Uh, hindi naman pag-ipamilit, dira sa mga material, ang mga magamit pa. Basi karon ang mga ano nila pang gamito nyo balaklas nga pwede pa man magamit. Ina balaklas ang do mga i-recycle mo lang, right? To make it like a whole artwork of an assemblage. This one is an example. I think I have seen here a, a very good example pero amo lang ni siya ipakita ko. This is an assemblage art, all right? Everybody else around here has a dish on their roof, and so I wanted to make a dish. And uh, as you can see, in the mga basura na mga found objects niya, it doesn't get really good reception. I don't know. I have to tweak it. I think a little more. Assemblage is a way of making art in which various or disparate things that are traditionally non-art materials are brought together in a... Wait, put ako on ko kaya para makita niyo ba class? Alright, okay. A variety of ways, 
but that have at their core basically glue. Assemblage is sort of cut and paste. Yeah. Making I art out of everything. That was what was in the air and the f Robert Rauschenberg, Bruce Connor. All the objects with one another and disparate thing. Wanna be next make anything new. You would just refashion what lines of the hand for your desk. I was also so both of those So you the found things are put together to make an artwork. So that is what we call assemblage art. All right. So um, I try to uh, get other examples again, okay, para makita naton. So this one is an example of oh, kita niyo. May lata siya. May spring siya. Oh, look at it, oh. Right? It's so cute. You have already the idea of what is an assemblage. Alright, so we're going to proceed now to our next discussion, which will be all about uh, tapos ng assemblage. So, kilala hong tane, ang mga pioneers in the Philippines, si Lao Lian Ben. He was born in Manila on April 24, 1984. In his teenage years, he began uh, making assemblages assemblages by layering small branches and twigs on top of carved wooden boards as commentary for forest devastation. Next is Robert F Fileo, known for his Sapin Sapin, which showcases different assemblages depicting ironic, traditional, historical, and popular images. So, pwede ka mukos makatakol sa certain environment or certain mga issues, bala? Okay? Mga political issues, kung pwede nyo ipang ano, uh, gusto nyo itakol or himuon theme or concept sa inyong assemblages, pwede nyo na maobra. Alright? So now let's move on to another type of contemporary art form, which is uh, what we call mobile. Okay? This is what we call mobile. This is not mobile, mobile. Okay? Mobile is also known as kinetic art. Because of the word kinetic, of course, we all know, I don't know if you know, right? Kinetic is, um, it expresses movements or actions, right? So, unlike traditional sculptures, mobiles do not remain static, right? So, it does not remain constant or static, it, it moves, okay? So, it needs to move, that's why to be, called, to be able to be called as mobile. It has moving parts driven by either the natural force of the wind, Okay? Or by motors. Mobiles are, so ang gapahulag class could either be a machine or it could be the natural force of the wind. Okay? Or wind. Mobiles are sculptural works that is suspended from a protruding base or the ceiling. So, halindira sa may babaw, okay? Though nagalaylay, ang ginatawag na mobile art or kinetic art. This one is an example. A mobile, a baby mobile, okay? Yung ginabutang ga, malakas to, to um, what you call this, to entertain children or babies, right? So, Filipino contemporary artists who have created mobiles are Eduardo Castrillo and Ramon Orlina. Now, let's try to look at some examples, pa, pagin, of kinetic na mga or mobile art. No? Mobile art. Kita niyo na class ang sa mga ano class? Kita niyo ang do kumagka ka mo bala. Inong e dugo hulag hulag bala class. Nga do matchag mo, it's never ending. Nga ara lang nakasabit. That is a mobile art. All right? So I'm here today to one. show you how to make a mobile. A mobile. Um, there are two types of mobiles uh, and they are behind me. We have the original uh, mobile that is closer to the Calder model with that is made with rods and aluminum sheet. And this one being a little harder to start working with, we'll turn our attentions more to this kind of mobile, which is without any rods but, and only links. Uh, this one is made out of aluminum as well, but today we'll be working with much easier. Kita nyo, class, may mga ano siya, ginagamitan siya sa mga um, threads or mga linkages, bala, kaya para makonek-konek ang mga objects that will be um, that will be hanged sa ceiling or somewhere nga do taas, nga elevation, 
alright? Kaya para mag, ano siya, maglakta siya, magpadalong sa balaklas, okay? Kaya para ma-i-force siya siyang hangin, magulag-ulag, or by a machine, alright? So, I hope you understood mobile. Next, we also have another type of um, contemporary art forms, which is what we call performance art. Performance art class is different from performing arts. Okay, so later on, i-ano taman niya class, i-discuss taman niya ang performing arts. It is completely different from performance art. Okay, so performance art emerged because of the futurist attempt to reform culture. It was also influenced by the Dada movement in Zurich, Switzerland. The aim was to destroy traditional values in art, embrace new art to replace the old. Alright, so uh, gusto nila islanded class ang ginatawag tanga um, ang old or traditional na art okay, to make it more modern. Okay, that's why they were able to develop performance art. When we talk about performance art, we refer to performances performed in front of a live audience. Alright, so performance art artists may incorporate visual and performing arts to come up with a commendable performance. Okay, so let's try to um to um see what really is a performance art. Ano ba nga performance art? Gusto gina gina display sa mga museum. Okay, sa mga museum na wala class, for example, na um gusto ipakita sa artist or sa creator sa art na ang movement. Oh, this one for na. Gagamit sila klas sa mga live ng mga tao or mga These are wooden cubes by the artist Rashid Arin. Ginagamit sila klas sa ginatawag tanga space lang sa museum. Then amuna nga space sa museum klas ang dera na dera klas nakadisplay ang ilang creation. Ang ilang creation na aran na dera daw ang buhi gid nga tao, then ginapinta-pintahan lang nila, then tapos ginapa ginapa move lang nila for example or ginapa do ginahimo lang nila do statue para do ara lang dera nakadisplay. Okay, so that's performance art. This one is an example. Now let's add a live element. Suddenly the structure becomes animated, producing a aspect. Media and raising questions people and changing nature, the subject and material of the work. So it's just being displayed there. They believe that art which incorporated a life element. They also wanted right to make there. art that could right. not be easily bought or sold. The term performance came to define an artwork that had a life. It's a kind of a visual arts na kinanglan, makita sa mga tao, balaklas, okay? Makita sa, for example, na class, ang do performance art, ang ginagawag, na balaklas kita nyo na ang do kung hulugan mo lang balasang piso, balaklas, right? Ang ginagawag na mga performance art, hulugan mo lang piso, for example, sa mga movies, na balak, then kung paghulog mo piso sa isa ka do statue, nga daw tao, then maulag-ulag siya. That's what we call performance art. Pero ang performance art, gida, usually makita mo siya sa mga museum. Okay? Sa mga museum, nakadisplay lang ng mga tao na da, na daw ginubra sila, nga daw object, para lang tawon sila sa mga viewers nga nagakadto sa museum. Element right? was witnessed by an audience. Na, right there. But as performance okay? took root, so people began to see that paintings and sculptures, and sculptures could have performative aspects too. Um, like Jackson this? Pollock's action paintings. And Rashida Re to express or to make a painting or to kung amo na ginagamit din ang mga lawas ang tao may ara na ganit class if we are going to um search ang mga uh, different pagid nga mga contemporary art forms pagid class nga na develop bala today lang okay in this contemporary times dam gid lakas kumbaga dumambal man bala do mga weird mga weird or strange things that they could do in the name of art nga may ara ganit class nga ang ang genital sang babayi or genital sang lalaki, amun ang ginaubra nila, klas nga daw tool, or daw material, klas ginabutangan lang pinta, tapos gina, gina ano na klas, daw kinahimok nga painting, alright? So, hindi ka muna klas maubra, klas sa base, wala nga maano inyo, pero okay man, kung gusto nyo na, pero kung base, wala ma-irritate inyo, nga mga organs, dira, kung gamito nyo, putangan nyo, i-dip nyo sa pinta, tapos iya mo amun nyo na sa mga ano, daw kalain, guru na klas. So, ano lang, um, i-appreciate nyo, pero kung gusto nyo, gindi yung mag-ubra sa amun na, di ba? You have the freedom naman because there's no wrong in art as long as you do it in the name of art. Alright? So, for example, na class, ang muna ganang ginambal ko bala, so that's performance art. Diba? Nakita nyo class, very, ano, gid saya, do very um modern na gid ya ang pag-take sa art subong sa aton nga kabuhi or subong nga times, right? So, dahil muna ganang ka-develop nga mga different types of art. May nambal ako sa inyo.
Alright? So, before ko yung balaan ay sa inyo, okay, nga i-share ko sa inyo nga art form, pag nga nabalaan ko, nga, nga, nga ginahin mo, nga material for an artwork, i-ambal ko na sa inyo ang area, ang question sa section Hong Kong. Okay? So, section Hong Kong, ari inyo nga question. Alright? So, here is your question. Do you enjoy looking at different artworks? Explain why you have answered a yes or a no. Okay? So, na-enjoy nyo ba lang mag... Nakapreciate nyo man ay yan ang art. So, muna inyo nga i-answer. Then, explain mo kung aga ka-enjoy mo. Para sa ngambal ko ganit class, you can answer everything in the different language or any language that you want. Hiligay non, Filipino, English, whatever that you want to to use, whatever language you want to use. Alright? So, example, pag ina-class, ang ginatawag kami, ah, pag ina-class, nga... Iyan ba ko sa inyo, ang isa bala class ka art form pag ito nga na-develop, ang iya bala, um, iyan ba ko, okay lang, okay, basi ka kaon ka bala hao. Kaya ang tae bala class, alright, ang tae bala class ang isa ka do artist ko no class, ginabutang niya sa lata, then, gina-export niya class, alright, kay basi amo na kuno class ang, ang tawag di, ang ginaga, amo na, may mga artist nga gagamit sang tae, sinasang tao nga na, kag amo na ginagamit niya class, mag, mag magpinta amo na kung bagang iya balaklas nga daw painting amo na iya nga color okay amo nang ginagamit yung nabutang yung sa canvas di ba that's that's um because that's an art okay we cannot judge them they do it in the name of an art um we search it abe art using pieces okay for example yes this is what we call it oh pop art for sale right We just try, okay. Diba, Today we are going to work with poop art. Yes. What you do is you take a regular piece of poop for example, that is, is relatively. Ina ginagamit class. Kasi may mga tao gisang nagaamu na iyale expression of their poop art. Art. Just try to look at it. Okay. So it, this is a pretty weird one, pero this is how they do their art. Right. Sa so, muna class. Okay? So, class, mabalik kita dali sa atong ginatawag na performance art. Ginlabay-labay ko lang ito. Gin-insert ko lang ito para mabalaan ta subong. Nga ang contemporary art is a, a, is a type of an art subong ado very explorative gid. ba? Diba? It, it explores a lot of things. Right? It explores even the tiniest hole of your body na pwede nila maubra art. Alright? Next. So, ari na class ang aton nga performance artist in the Philippines. They are what he calls David Midala and Danny Silad. Alright? So, now let's move on to the last one. Alright? So, are you happy? Um, our lesson is ending already. Installation art. What is installation art? Installation art refers to interior installed three-dimensional artworks. Man siya, class of three, di man siya. Its process involves the installation of objects in a specific or chosen place, mostly indoors sa sulod. Installation art allow, allows viewers to interact with the artwork, thus reinforcing meaningful experience of the artwork. So that is what we call class installation art. In a class, ang do ma maka interact ang viewer or an audience sa art nga ina okay so for example abi may space nga dako dako based sa may museum then dira kaw pwede ka daka pa picture pwede mo mahika pang art okay pwede ka daka ubra and everything now let's search bing installation art right para mabalaan naton ah uh, interactive Class, kung magkadto ka mo class sa ibang nga lugar, bala class, may arat na kita da ginatawag class ng mga art, mga um, installation art. Na for example, at dira sa contemporary museum, bala class sa may Iloilo, dira sa aton, sa may Mandoryao, may arat na dira class ng installation ng art. Kung magsulod ka na dira sa babaw, may arat na dira class ang PowerPoint, do painting sa class. Tapos kung mag, kung i-ano mo class, kung, kung mag, kung mag, kung do insert mo balang self mo class, kung magpatunga ka sa PowerPoint, kag sa may wall, do makita mo imo nga self nga galakat ni mismo sa painting. Okay? So makita mo ina dira class. So that is um what we call installation art. There is a participation, okay? Or the interaction of the audience, amo nang ginatawag ta installation art. This one is an example. This one this these are the top installation art. Ang 
installation art class is ginaubra para to occupy a space, a certain space. Example, sa mga museum. So, may ara ginada. Though it takes a lot of space, gid. Alright? That's the power of art, right? So installations can be either mobile, it's remountable, ephemeral, temporary, or permanent or fixed. Okay? So ang muna class, to take up space bala. Okay? So ang ibang mobile, pwede mong mahulagulag, ephemeral, temporary lang, pwede makuha da yun. Then permanent, na dira, nagida na kabutang. Okay? Dugin si Min, to nagid for example. Okay, contemporary artists known for their installations, si Leroy New, okay, he's my idol, or my the one I look up to, uses things he can find in his surroundings as an inspiration for his installations that varies from sculpture, fashion, and other fields of visual arts. Okay, again, pa search kasi niya si Az Ong, or si Az Ong, her installation artworks are usually made up of organic, colorful, and fluid crochet pieces. So, may ari na siya class nga daw installation art nga nag-protrude ara sa sababaw class. Dako-dako is daw made of yarn. Then, pwede ka kasulod-sulod sa dalong. Okay? So, may interaction nga pa ng audience. The creativity of her design was inspired by the Talaan Diggs, an ethnic group in Bukidnon, where she spent a year of her life as a volunteer teacher. So, amo na si Aizong. So, class, di ba? Grabe nga ito nga art subong that we can, um, that we are experiencing or we are enjoying today. It has really evolved, the art today or the contemporary art has really evolved from ang traditional nga art sang una as sa subong nagnamin namin na gin. And then these, may mga kagaka-develop ganit nga doon mga strange nga mga arts that you cannot even imagine nga gakatabo, right? So damo-damo pag class art and I hope that you will take time to to look into the those kinds of arts pa and if you want to share it with me eh don't hesitate to pm me or to um personal message me kung may share ka nga something na idea about art okay i would really love it i would really i uh, would really love to hear it from you all right so we are done with lesson 4 i hope you really learned something about it so what are you going to do next you have to answer the um the assess part as what i've said Um, nahambal ko na dito kagina sa, sa nagliligad sa parts ng video nga ini, nahambal ko na kung saan ang deadline sa aton nga um, sa, um, what do you call this? sa aton nga um, sa assess nga part, alright? So, saan ako okay, ini-close liwat? Ang bilog nga part sa lesson, ang bilog nga lesson 4, i-close ko sa by Sunday, 11.59pm. Okay? This week na Sunday. Alright, so amo na sa class. So I hope you did obrahan mong activate. Ang um, obra mo na ang activate, amo na. Then ang acquire na basa mo na. Then ang assess na part, I hope na na obra niyo naman. Alright, so, then ang apply nga part as well. Alright. So that would be all for today or for our for lesson 4. I hope that you really learned something about our presentation. All right, so I'll see you, and thank you for listening. Thank you for your patience. God bless you. Keep safe. Always be happy. Always be positive. Then always follow my instruction. All right, so goodbye, class. See you on the next lesson. And wait, I hope that you're doing your performance task. I hope um, naintindihan yung tanan ko nga performance task ni Ginambal. So I hope you're doing it. All right, so I clear tong instruction. Bye-bye.